today we will have a discussion on a very important topic and a very short topic internal acoustic meters which is a very important question for your entrance exam you are not going to go in depth about the internal acoustic meters you want to know what are the important mcqs which are been repeatedly asked in the internal acoustic meters okay the internal acoustic meters is one trend setting exam point of view right now okay what has been repeatedly asked is we all know that the internal acoustic meters internal acoustic meters as a two parts it has a porous part and a fundus part right so one will be a porous part and which will be towards the skull base and the other two will be the fundus part so so we know that the internal acoustic meters where is the internal acoustic meters it lies in the petrous part of the temporal bone where is it it is a it is a entrance it is a entry uh, it lies between the posterior cranial fossa and the inner ear it is almost a entrance channel right so what has been repeatedly asked in the exam for entrance exams is entrance exam uh, the cut section of the internal acoustic meters so when we just do a cut section of the internal acoustic meters at the level of fundus right what they will ask is what are the structures which pass through the internal acoustic meters or what are the nerves which are which are contents of the internal acoustic meters okay so what are the structures which pass through the internal acoustic meters right for this we know that what are the structures which pass through we know that the facial nerve facial nerve from the after its intracranial part it enters into the intratemporal part through this meatal segment right so we have a facial nerve right we have a facial nerve and along with that along with that we have a eighth nerve which runs along with the facial nerve uh, which will be running uh, eighth nerve will be running just near to the facial nerve along this will be the intracranial segment this will be the meatal part okay so now what are the contents of the uh, internal acoustic meters what are the nerves which are components of the internal acoustic meters we have a seventh nerve we have a eighth nerve right hey right so this eighth nerve eighth nerve eighth nerve is otherwise called as what is the name of the eighth nerve vestibulo cochlear nerve right this vestibulo cochlear nerve as the name indicates is further divided into it has a branch that is a cochlear nerve and a vestibular nerve very very important mcq which i am going to say you now the vestibular nerve is further divided into superior vestibular nerve inferior vestibular nerve right so now what are the contents of the internal acoustic meters now how many nerves we have we have a facial nerve we have a vestibular cochlear nerve that is a cochlear nerve superior vestibular nerve inferior vestibular nerve so what are the contents now we have we have four contents so when i am i am making a cut section of this fundus part of the internal acoustic meters okay when i am making a cut section so how many nerves are here we have four nerves right the facial nerve cochlear nerve superior vestibular nerve inferior vestibular nerve now the question stands with which nerve runs superior which nerve runs inferior or which is superior to which okay this will be the question now so so for this we are dividing it into four quadrants okay so we need to have in mind two important structures one is called as a one will be a horizontal line which is called as which is called as transverse crest otherwise called as falciform crest okay what it does the transverse crest or the horizontal crest or the falciform crest will now divide the internal acoustic meters into into superior segment and the inferior segment right it divides into the superior segment and the inferior segment okay and now now we have one more important component which is called as a bills bar bills bar bills bar what it does the bills bar is a vertical line it's a vertical vertical segment okay it divides the superior compartment it divides the compartment into into how it divides it divides into the anterior and posterior so what is this this is bills bar okay very very important mcq very very important mcq bills bar is located where it is located in the internal acoustic meters okay it is a vertical line which divides it into the anterior and posterior segment the horizontal line is called as a transverse crest or the falciform crest okay now what are we going to do we are going to fit these four nerves in these four compartments okay so so how are we going to fit just have a mnemonic in mind just have a mnemonic in mind the seven up and collar down okay seven up 
this is a mnemonic this is not for uh, this is a mnemonic just have it in mind very very important for your exams just think that the seven up has gone up and the cola has gone down seven up cola down okay so what this indicates what this indicates seven stands for seven is facial now c think of c for the cola think of c for cochlear now right so seven up cola down never forget this until until you go for your exams until you go for your uh, need at the next exam whatever very very important mcq internal acoustic meters which is otherwise called as internal auditory canal or however they call us okay seven up cola down that means seven stands for facial nerve so facial nerve what i said seven up the facial nerve is up up means it is in the superior segment so it is somewhere in the superior segment so mark facial nerve in the superior segment so cola down that means cochlear nerve is down it's down below the facial nerve that is it is in the inferior segment right the facial nerve is up the cochlear nerve is down okay so so the facial nerve is superior to cochlear nerve right so the next thing what are we going to know what we want to know which is anterior which is posterior okay which is anterior which is posterior just again have a mnemonic go according to your roll number according to your roll number okay we know that c comes first and vestibular nerve comes v comes at the back right so the in the exams c will be sitting anteriorly where v will be sitting posteriorly okay that means just have it in mind the vestibular nerve will run vestibular nerve run will run posteriorly not anteriorly okay so again we have in the vestibular nerve it is further divided into superior vestibular nerve inferior vestibular nerve right so now posterior posteriorly and superiorly by the superior vestibular nerve posteriorly inferiorly by the inferior vestibular nerve right i hope you got it right so posteriorly superiorly by the superior vestibular nerve posteriorly inferiorly by the inferior vestibular nerve right so this is a very important question in your neat exam okay uh, which uh, uh, what they will ask is which of the following statements are true regarding internal acoustic meters except except or they they may ask you the facial nerve runs in which compartment of the internal acoustic meters or in a, in a some other way they will ask us uh, the vestibular uh, which of the following uh, vestibular nerve runs which side of the facial nerve it runs posteriorly okay so now what are the nerves as we discussed as we discussed so which which runs antero superiorly the facial nerve runs so now according to the segment according to the cut section the facial nerve runs antero superiorly right the cochlear nerve runs antero inferiorly superior vestibular nerve runs postero superiorly inferior vestibular nerve postero inferiorly clear clear a very very important question which runs anteriorly which runs posteriorly okay don't get much confused have a mnemonic seven up and cola down and v can put v at the back okay v is posterior right this is a very important question for your exams okay and one more important point in this one more very important recent mcqs in this chapter is there will be a foramen there will be a foramen in this lower segment of the internal acoustic meters this is called as singular foramen singular foramen okay so what happens is there is a branch of inferior vestibular nerve there is a branch of inferior vestibular nerve which transfers us through this through this singular foramen say if this is the inferior vestibular nerve there is a branch of inferior vestibular nerve which passes through this singular foramen and comes out okay and comes out this is called what now comes out this is a singular now this is called as singular now so so the mcq is singular nerve singular nerve is a branch of singular nerve is a branch of inferior vestibular nerve so where it passes through where it passes through it passes through this singular foramen so singular nerve a branch of inferior vestibular nerve which passes out through the singular foramen okay and what it supplies again again another important mcq the singular nerve will go and supply one semicircular canal that is posterior semicircular canal a very very important mcq so this chapter contains very important mcqs one is regarding the nerves okay one is regarding the singular nerve the other is where it supplies the posterior semicircular canal and we want to know that mnemonic which comes anteriorly which comes posteriorly never forget this uh, until you go for your exam okay 
uh, this very important topic if you have any doubts in this topic or if you have any queries in ENT you can just whatsapp me in my number ok or you can join my uh, facebook page or telegram page Dr. Ajay is exploring ENT And I would like to invite you all to my uh, own app that is Dr. Ajay CNT app which is dedicated for ENT, Dr. Ajay CNT app. You can download it from the Google Play Store. If you have an Android application, you can uh, download it from the Google Play Store. If you are on Apple iOS, you can just WhatsApp me in my number. I will send you a web link so that you can see in the web videos. This contains almost all the videos and this uh, this this contains a course of for a pre-final which contains almost all the recorded videos uh, from A to Z of ENT almost uh, learning with the basic concepts to the entire exam point of view, the practical exam point of view. Hope it will be very useful for the exam. I would like you to kindly download the app of Dr. Ajay CNT. Thank you.